Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Google Forms. And in today's video, I'll be creating a Google Form, but I'll also be linking it to a Google Sheet. So whenever you fill out the form, the data will go into a Google Sheet. So I'll fill this one out. And then select my favorite color, hit submit, and then that in turn will populate over here on my Google Sheet with this reform responses sheet here. So I'll go through a step-by-step -step process of how I put the Google form together and also how I linked it to the Google Sheet to populate here. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. Here I am on my Google Drive. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start up a new Google Sheet. So I'm going to hit New and go to Google Sheets and hit Blank Spreadsheet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a name, favorite color, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to tools and hit create form so what this basically is doing is it's linking this form to my Google sheet which is already called favorite color and the title of my form is favorite color and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple questions here so the first question I'm going to do names here so I'm going to do short answer for my first one I'm going to type in first name. So that's my first question. Then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add another question. So it's adding down here. I'm going to hit another short answer. Hit last name on that one. And then I'm going to hit another add. And we're going to keep this as multiple choice, which is favorite color. I have multiple choice already selected over here. And now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to add options. So first one's going to be red, blue, orange. And you can go on and on and on. I'm going to take this one out. And I'm going to add other here. So I'm going to click this. That way somebody can write in an answer as well. So that is it for my favorite color. I'm also going to come down here and select it as required. In fact, I'm going to go to all my fields here and make them required. So I'm going to click on each one of them. So now I got them all required. First name, last name, and favorite color. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to run this form. So I can do the preview. And the preview is where I can run it. So I'm going to click on it. So here's my form. I'm going to put in a name. Last name. And pick a favorite color. So I'm going to go blue, hit submit. So now I have submitted my form. Now I can go over to my Google Sheet, refresh it, and I'm going to click on form responses. And now I have my inputted data from my form here. And I can send another one. And hit red, submit. Now it puts it in there. So now if you're if you're new to Google Forms, um, I'm gonna go back to my editor over here and I could click on responses here. And this actually keeps a tally just on this form of what was responded back as well here in data here as what you can get. 
If you want to distribute this form out to people to fill out, you can hit the send button, which will bring up this box, and you can email. So if you want to email a whole bunch of people to fill this out, you can, and they'll get the link, and they'll click the link and fill it out. Um, they give you an option to just send a link yourself. You can copy and paste this, send it out to people as well. Also, they give you an embedded HTML where you can actually put this into a web page as well to fill out. It's an iframe and stuff like that. So just different ways that you can send it out to people to fill out. Um, the linking here is, again, uh, this is the questions. This is how I set up my form here. The responses is over here, but also over here you have an option to unlink the form to your uh, Google Sheet, which I could do now. Unlink the form. And it'll warn you that it's unlinking. We're going to unlink it. So now it's unlinked. So now you can see that the emblem is gone over here. So the data is not linked anymore. So if I go ahead and fill it out again, I select orange. You'll see it here in my responses from the form here, as I got all three, but this will not come in anymore. But what I could do is I can, not all is lost here, I can go ahead and link this back up as well over on this part of it by selecting this and then selecting select existing spreadsheet, hit select. And now it's going to show me all my spreadsheets where I can select the one I need. So I'm going to go with favorite color here. Now it's going to open up the sheet. It's going to take all the responses and put it in there that we've had so far with the form. And now it's going to add another sheet here. So this one is linked since it has this logo right here to the Google Sheet. So I'm going to go back to my form, my questions. So this is just a short video to show you how to create a short, simple form, how to link it to a Google Sheet. And I gave you some instructions on how to send it out as well to get responses back. That concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.